Okay, we've had some people break off the stub on the extreme that holds on the idler. This is one that we've actually cut off. And notice I've cut that off with a band or a uh, hacksaw that looks like this. I've cut it off right at the paint line. And you try to cut it off straight as you can. With these simple parts below, you can actually reconstitute the idler mount axle. You got a good look at the parts here. We got the existing idler, the existing idler spacer sleeve, and we're going to dis uh, discard this original one. And of course, the stub is gone, and also the insert stub is not needed anymore. So we've drilled out this guy, and we're going to put that on there. We go ahead and slip on. The idler like so, with this sprocket to the inside, the original spacer. So now you got this whole assembly going together like so. And then inside of here, let's put one of these guys, which we already have actually. And we're ready to bolt it off. The trick is that if you get real close, see that nut? It's been ground with a dish on it. And if you want to walk around to the other side, It's designed to center and suck itself inside the existing hole. So we'll just put that on there. <laughs> okay, our cameraman's coughing to death, but that's okay. This is an informal thing. I shouldn't even have to hold that tight. It'll self-lock. It'll self-lock kind of like a star nut. Now watch how much I'm going to pull that down. This is important. You want to suck that baby down until you are coming out on the other end with that nylock. There you are, and that's it. We have now fixed the extreme idler after you've broken off your original welded on stub. Thank you very much.